What's going on guys? Back at it again with another Fallout 76 video. So in this one we're going to be continuing on with some of the story. Um, I was kind of undecisive whether or not I wanted to go and do the uh, DLC content first uh, versus the um, Flatwood stuff. But I think I'm going to end up trying to resist as long as possible uh, and prioritize the main storyline just to see what Bethesda has changed with the whole... Uh, you know, Wastelanders DLC. So we've already met our first set of characters. Uh, the main one we spoke to was Lacey over there by Vault 76. So it, should, it was actually pretty interesting. But a part of our mission is to place our own camp. So I kind of want to fast travel really fast up here. Oh, I think this guy already stole my spot. But there's a, a nice little area with water up here that I kind of want to check out and basically drop a camp right there and see how it basically you know fares as a new character there's a big big possibility man that that's not going to be a very viable spot because it's so close to vault 76 i'm pretty sure there's going to be a lot of newer level people or characters um that are going to be basically uh camping out right there Wait, all the Liberators are gone. Oh, no, they're not. They're right there. <laughs> all right, so let me see. Let's go to the map. Oh, it doesn't look like that guy was actually camping there. There's a good chance that he was just passing through. But I do want to place a camp somewhere, and I'm not entirely sure where. But I know water is a good, a good place. A good thing to start off with, of course. Oh, my God. Such a long trek down this mountain. I'm not even sure if this is the actual way. I know it's over here somewhere, but we shall see. Um, where's the water? Is that water? No, that's just a rock. I know there's a water hole around here somewhere. Oh, I think I see it. That's definitely it. There's a lot of bees on that side, though. We'll try it anyways. Alright, we'll leave a big... Actually, we'll... I guess we'll place it... We'll place it right here. Got another achievement, baby. Yeah! Oops. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and move this over here. And honestly, I don't really want to put anything down quite yet. For now, let's go ahead and fast travel back to the Overseer's Camp. And then we'll go ahead into Flatwoods. Can I not fast travel? Oh, I don't have fucking caps. Alright, well, let's go to Vault 76 then, and then uh, we're going to have to just run there. So that's unfortunate. Maybe I should have placed my camp later, but oh well. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I will say this too. Um, it is running a hell of a lot better. Like, the game is actually running smoother since Wastelanders. And that's amazing. I could not be happier, man. I mean, I guess I could have put the camp over here at this watering hole that's down here. But realistically, that one... It's a little... I don't know. I'm not... I don't think I like it. Although I will say this. The very first camp I've ever built, I'm pretty sure, was right here in this watering hole. But it's kind of like pointless. I mean, I know I just put down a camp close to Vault 76, but realistically, it's kind of pointless to put a camp at Vault 76. Or uh, so close to Vault 76 since you get a free fra fast travel to your camp. And to vault 76 so having two of your free well your only two f real free 
um, fast travel locations being so close to each other is kind of pointless in my opinion. All right. We should be good to go. Looks like we got another character somewhere right in front of us. I really still need more AP regen, don't I? Alrighty. Oh, look, there's a little sign right here. The Wayward. Opening soon. Food, drinks, rooms, refugee. Uh, conveniently located at the corner of Route 86 and Route 88. All kinds welcome. I'm assuming they're talking about super mutants and uh, ghouls, of course. I think this is the first time I've ever actually worn the, the battle coat, man. Let's go ahead and take this, obviously for some junk. Gather some logs for building later. Yeah, I kind of want to build like an automatic, like a commando build. But more specifically, energy weapons. So that should be pretty interesting. I've never played that play style. Uh, one thing I will say th is this. Um, energy weapons, specifically laser rifles, are not very good in this game. I hate to say it, man, but it's true. Energy weapons kind of suck in this game. Oh, look, somebody put their camp right here. There's a dead raider here. Free Radical. I'm assuming that's a faction. Oh, there's another one right here. That's cool. Someone placed down their camp and killed someone. Screwdriver. Uh, melon. I'm probably going to need that to eat later. <clears throat> I will say this too. Um, oh, this is the raider camp. I have the raider camp. I just never... M metal. Oh, okay. Here it is. Black barbecue grill. This looks disgusting, dude. Why would anybody want to live? That's gross. Uh-uh. No, thank you. Oh, hell nah. Uh, stay still. Ah, away with you. There's a little bit of server lag. I wouldn't really blame the game for that. I blame the servers. Although the servers are part of the game, so I mean, I guess, I guess you can make that argument. Damn it. Come on. Hit him. Stop moving, damn it. Fuck. Oh my god, I hate having no AP. Alright, good. He's done skis. And I think I'm about to level up too. That was like the hardest fight ever, wasn't it? For me, at least. I almost messed that up really bad. I should take a stim pack, but... Look at that. This is somebody else's camp. I should use this really fast just to scrap everything. Um, Alright, that's good for now. I noticed that we don't have the dot anymore. Now we have actual crosshairs. I'm not going to lie to you. I actually preferred the dot. But I think that's because I had gotten used to it, you know? Alright. Uh, give me your food. Yay! Got my first level up. Well, outside of the vault. Alright, let's go and see. Okay, we got traveling pharmacy... Butcher's Bounty, that could come in handy. Uh, Dromedary, uh, or whatever, I can't even say that word. Uh, happy Camper, First Aid. Um, 
I might go with Action Boy again, to be honest. Actually, this will come in handy for being an automatic build. Obviously, I'm technically not a build yet, but let's go ahead and put that in. Let's see what we have over here in Flatwoods. This should be very interesting, dude, because I don't know if there's going to be actual people here. Like if they actually brought back the response. Oh, that guy scared the hell out of me. Where do you find a power armor so early on? He's only level 11. All right, let's see. Also, I wonder if the hol the hollow tapes are here. Yeah, they are. Is that it? I know it's even worse than we imagined, but someone's got to know where the missile silos are and how to secure them. The responders are the best lead we have. This is the overseer signing off. Oh, thank God. I want to talk to this lady so freaking bad. Heather Ellis. Are you here for the responder training? As a matter of fact, I am. Hold on, they're, they must have, they must really have cared about helping people to set up a training program. Uh, doesn't look like training saved any of them. Responder training. All right. As a matter of fact, I am. Then you're not alone. A lot of people come here because of that radio message the responders left. That's what brought me here too. At first, I was planning to just do the training and move on, but honestly, I kind of like it here. I really enjoy meeting all the people that pass through and hearing their stories. Wait a minute. Are you one of those people who was in Vault 76? Um, I am. Oh, look at that. I got a perception check. Uh, you've got a good eye. What gave it away? <laughs> sure am. I knew it. I could tell just by looking at you. I've always thought that life in a vault must be so amazing. With the robots and all the machines and having everything you need every day. Best of all, you're safe. Which, let me tell you, is a thing us outsiders very rarely get to feel. Though I guess you're one of us now, so that's all in the past for you. Oh, you could say that. Uh, mind if I ask you something? Go right ahead. Uh, what's with the responder outfit? I found it in one of the houses. It fits great, and it's really comfortable and pretty durable, too. I'd also be lying if I said it didn't have some sentimental value for me. I've admired the responders ever since I first heard about them. What they stood for, helping people no matter what. That was really important. I really like this, man. Oh, my God. Tell me about yourself. Me? There's not much to tell, really. I came in with Paige and the rest and stayed at the Foundation for a while. It was nice. But eventually I wanted to go my own way, you know? Get out and see some places I've never seen, figure out who I am. When I heard the message on the radio about Flatwoods, I was curious to meet the responder, so I made my way here. I decided to stay here and see what else I could learn. That's pretty much my story. Uh... Tell me about Foundation. 
It's a community of settlers up in the mountains to the east. It's a nice enough place, I guess. That being said, it's a hell of a dangerous trip trying to get there. I barely made it out of the mountains alive. If I were you, I'd keep to the forest until you're ready to deal with some seriously nasty stuff. Good to know. Tell me about Paige. He's the closest Foundation has to a leader, I guess. I never got to know him real well, but he always seemed like a decent guy. Honest, reliable, cares about the people, that kind of stuff. Uh, there's something else I'd okay. like to know. what is it? Um, anything interesting you can tell me about this area? Yeah, there's a couple of places around here that qualify as interesting. At least to me. The Agricultural Research Center is infested with feral ghouls and homicidal robots. But <laughs> you can find some good scrap in there if you're up to it. The New River Gorge Resort to the east is the same story. Maybe, minus the robots. Uh, okay, thanks for your time. No problem. That is... That is wonderful, man. Oh my god, that is so good. Dirty water. I mean, I guess I could because I could always boil it. I'll take that. I'll take the mute fruit or mutt fruit, whatever. I know people call it different things. Um, wait, hold on. Free cooking lessons. Just outside of Flatwoods Tavern in the parking lot. Uh... Rev Reverend Delbert Winters leads co uh, cooking lessons. Every day, free to all survivors. Uh, come get fed, okay? Menu. Okay, nothing nothing spectacular. Ooh, holo tape. Who go? Actually, you know what? That is a really long holo tape, so. And it's like a story type holo tape. So, not something I want to get into right now. Ooh, arrows. Open refrigerator. Oh my god. Responders, please. Help! Oh shit. Someone please help me! Please let me out! Please! Please! I'm begging you! Don't leave me here! Please! Please! I'll give you anything! All right, well, what the hell? All right, log in. Uh, kitchen patrol. Um, all right, there's nothing there. Containment details. Uh, old deep freeze uh, tank holds 50 pounds of steak at maximum. Temperature may be hot or cold when deposited. Automated pantry only accepts ribeye steak right now. Additional food donations will be in update uh, 0 0.20. Hold on. All right. I'm not sure where I left off. So let's see. Um, sorry about the uh, weird cut. I had to go take care of something really fast. Um, so automated pantry only accepts ribeye steak right now. Okay. So steak must be cooked to medium rare only. Carbon levels tweaked. To reject all other consistencies, well done steaks may be deposited in the leather scrap box for armor usage. Run diagnostics. Nothing. All right. Uh, bugs. Uh, I don't want to read this. <laughs> so let's see what's on the roof. Or maybe there's something over here. Oh, look, a holotape. Let's go ahead and listen to this baby. Survivor story, Tabitha. Who's talking to this? Oh, yeah, am I loud enough? Okay. Um, hi. What do you want me to say exactly? Yeah, so just talk about how you got here and maybe a little bit about your life. Sober since the nine days. Mm -hmm. I got here nine days ago. My name is, is Tabitha. 
Wandering around, fighting giant rats and eating garbage, if not for the responders. They're... they're good folks. That doc in the church, um... got me some meds that are helping out a lot. And they have group therapy meetings, and... and it's good, it's good. I, I, I think it's helpful. But listen... You should avoid the mountain. Mountains just get you mixed up. Get you doing things you don't want to do. I mean, there's so many chems up there. I spent too long there. better every day, but, you know, years of chems, years of rads, years of sleeping in the mud. It adds up. Yeah. Okay, back to sleep now, okay? Okay. Thanks for sharing your story, Tabitha. Get some sleep. You'll be okay. You're safe now. These are long holotapes. Let's listen to Colonel's story. Did it, did it not activate? Um, hollow tape. Survival story, Colonel. Hi. Daza asked me if I would talk about, um, how I got here. She asked everybody, so I, I said okay. Um, my name's Colonel, and I'm 13 years old. I, I just wanted to say I'm sorry. I'm sorry for everything. Um, the bombs and... <laughs> I was bad. Just bad. I, I cheated on my spelling test. I, I kicked Chip Wilkins in the shins until he cried. I pushed Rosie McCoy down the stairs. Um, I, I cut holes in the bottom of all the gym shorts and uh, put glue in the mashed potatoes in the cafeteria. I told Harold Newell to eat ten dead flies a day in order to grow muscles and um, put Nuka-Cola in the rat cage water bottles at the pet store. And, um... I just wanted to say I'm sorry about everything. Because my dad said if I wasn't this way, the bad things wouldn't happen. I haven't seen that. Uh, hi. Daza asked me if I would talk about um, how I got here. What? She asked everybody, so I, I said okay. All right, well, that's... um. My name's Colonel. That's a clue to stop it right there. It reset for some weird reason as soon as I hovered over the mailbox. So that was kind of strange. But, oh well, it is what it is. Alright, so... I don't have any other quests. It's like it wants me to do this quest. So we're probably going to go in that direction to go do the Wayward uh, after this part. 
But I kind of want to see if there's anything else in this area. We've already met one human NPC in Flatwoods. So that's the kind of stuff that I was looking for in doing the main storyline all over again. Is finding people in some of these types of locations. But hold on. Um, let's go ahead and come over here. Responders database. Is this where I go to a guest account? Uh, print newsletter. That's not what I'm looking for though. So I think what I'm looking for is over here in this terminal on this side. All right, so volunteers register here. Uh, transferring course to external hardware. Okay, cool. Report to responder Kesha McDermott for further instructions. All right, where is this Kesha McDermott? Uh, last checked in, 102596. Last location, Flatwoods River. Housing assignment, 3 Church Road. All right. Let's go look for her. It says by the river. So the oh, so the little map markers changed a little too. They're instead of circles, they're squares now. Hello, Keisha. Water testing kit. Survival story: Keisha McDermott. Stimpak pre war money. Alright, that was uh, probably the world's most boring holotape. Analyze water samples. Uh, water has not significantly improved since uh, the last sample in the same coordinates. Updating volunteer status. Alright, archives. Uh, looks like all of this is contaminated pretty much. Play holotape. I'm just going to eject it. All right, so boil water using, okay, so I gotta go collect some wood. Thankfully, there's a bunch of wood right here in this area and realistically, dude, all over the forest too, man. 
So let's go ahead and gather wood. And then sit our happy butts here and uh, toggle craftable boiled water. All right, and then I think I have to cook food. Maybe. I'll uh, check in with the self-service kiosk. Hello, Heather. If you say so. Uh, check volunteer status. Yay, I got 10 caps. Uh, you must complete uh, one more experiment for the responders to become a full volunteer. Transferring cores to your external hardware. Done. Report to responder Delbert Winters for further instructions. Where is Delbert Winters? Um, are you going to work or what? Oh, fuck. That was, that was the directory. Oh, man. Get in there. All right. People directory. I should have stayed for the freaking rewards. Delbert Winters, where you at, bro? Runs Flatwoods Kitchen and, and Potluck. Train survivals and food and, s and safety. Uh, so he's at home. Let's look through all of our stuff. I don't know what we got. Uh, we already had all that. We already had all that. Probably a bunch of random stuff over here. Uh, chemistry workbench is something new. Very nice. Make yourself at home. Yes, ma'am. I mean... Technically, we could claim everything around here since there's nobody that lives here. All right, Delbert Winters lives here. What's up, bro? Let's hear your story. Reverend Delbert Winters here, born and raised in this very town. Met my own church to the responders for their outpost here, and uh, you're welcome. The responders are on a true mission, you see. Helping folks through thick and thin till the heavens open up again and take us all up anyways. When this all happened, I figured like most it was time. That this was the end. But but it wasn't, was it? We're still here. At first I thought it was a mistake that we was missed, forgotten. Maybe we did some wrong. Didn't give enough to charity, maybe. Didn't praise his name, even in the worst of times. Maybe thought some things that ought not to have been thought. So I asked him. I asked how? Why? I fought your wars on Earth. I'm ready to fight them up there by your side. Then, in my despair, I saw some survivors eating raw red carcass behind the dumpster. <laughs> you ought to cook that first, I warned him. <laughs> Seemed obvious. We tried, but got sick, they said, covered in their own filth. I realized right then and there that I was being tasked. From then on, I built kitchens, cooked good food, fed anyone who walked up with an empty belly. And I was thankful for my task in life. Thankful. <laughs> Next time hell or high water land in my stoop, I'll be swept clear away with it. Till then, let's share a home cooked meal together, all right? Sounds good, Mr. Winters. Let's go ahead and finally read your terminal, though. Volunteer training. Uh, survivor's basic ribeye steak. Get some meat from the local cows. Toss it on the fire until it stops oozing. Oh, that sounds disgusting. Comfort food cookbook. Uh, sunshine oil. I'm assuming I would have learned this. But I just learned it over their potluck schedule. No, Delbert's diary or whatever. On f diary. What the hell? All right, I need to write down my thoughts because I was losing faith. I am ashamed of it. Uh, I witnessed the wrath uh, with my own eyes. The brightest of lights filled uh, the sky and I thought he had come for me and those of the faith. But we remain. Why? Either he did not come or where uh, we were not good enough. I pray. I pray every mo moment I can. Nothing I hear. Nothing. I used to hear something. I think. Did I? It's hard to remember so long ago. He's having some real doubts on his faith. 
So, responders. This past month, I struggled. I cooked a lot through, you know. Uh, I cooked a lot, though. You know, it helps me calm. Uh, it helps me. Man, I cannot read right now. Sorry. Uh, it helps keep me calm to cook. Ingredients are so simple. Uh, mix this and that, and you know, you got yourself food. Life, not so much, and beyond. I don't know. I thought I did. The responders set up a camp in town. They're a bunch of medical uh, and fire, fire, uh, firefighter types, and they plan to fix up survivors. I'm volunteering. This is something I know I can do. Nightmares. Devoted myself to cooking for these survivors and running the book club and the neg the nightly survivors guilt meetings has been good for me. But I still come home at night and I think, why uh, was I ready? I was ready my whole life for this. What did I do wrong? Weird cows. It makes me glad to see the responders are taking in survivors so well. We need them, Lord knows. We need to rebuild this land. I have been noticing a weird thing. Some of the animals are born different. At first I thought it was just a random fluke. Two-headed cows, uh, oh no. Please don't kick me off. Alright, let's continue reading. Hopefully it fixes itself. At first, I thought it was just a random fluke. Two-headed cows should go to the Museum of Fakery, but then it happened again and again. He doesn't make mistakes like this. I'm not going to be able to go back, aren't I? All right, guys. We're going to definitely leave it there right now. Uh, it kicked me off the server, and I figured that would be a good time to just, uh, I guess continue on in another video i know this is kind of a shorter video but it is what it is the server stopped responding and it kicked me off so in the next video we're going to continue on and hopefully see if we can continue on with this responders quest line so that we can get through this whole beginning tutorial portion of the game but uh if you enjoyed this video do me a huge favor drop a like on the video subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed and i'll catch you guys in the next video deuces <laughs>